Hi friends, I'm Amy from Amy's Cooking Channel. Today I'm preparing Persian style lamb shank for Christmas Eve. Have Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Cheers. Okay, today I'm preparing Persian style lamb shank. These are the ingredients you need to use for the lamb shank. Saffron soaked in water, keep aside. Rosemary, about two stalks. Garlic, about 10 to 11 pieces. Ginger, about two inches. Bay leaf, three to four leaves. Yeah, three to four leaves, eh? bay leaves. Okay, keep aside. Persian powder, you prepare it for lamb shank. Mix powder. Ch chili powder, about two tablespoons. Turmeric. One teaspoon, make a cinnamon powder, two teaspoon, mix spice, one teaspoon, salt, two teaspoon, tomato paste, tomato paste, about one can, yes. Three potatoes, onion sliced, two sliced onions, huh? two sliced onions, yes, and butter, oil, yep, and not for that, forgetting mushroom seasoning, yeah. These are the ingredients you need, and I here I have four pieces of lamb shanks. You can cook it for two hours in the pot, or if you are rushing to go somewhere, you can prepare even in pressure cooker. Right now, I'm going to use the pressure cooker in a slow fire. I missed out for a second. In fact, I soaked this lamb shank with vinegar, salt, and cinnamon powder, yeah? And also cut tomatoes in and put. Though there is paste, tomato paste. I prefer fresh tomato to, to add in, yeah. So these are the ingredients you need to use. So now I'm going to saute the onions and put in the lamb shank and ginger and garlic too. I'm going to add in about two, roughly about two tablespoon of oil. Huh? Two tablespoon of oil. Throw in the onion. Later I will add in the butter. So I throw in the onion. Yes. Two onions are huh? sliced. I'm adding in ginger and garlic paste. Yeah, put it into the now I'm adding in all the chili powder. I mean, tablespoon of chili. One small tablespoon, and not big tablespoon, but mine is big. But I put it less than that. Yes. Nutmeg powder, one teaspoon. Cinnamon powder, one teaspoon. 
more or less you can put even put more it doesn't matter ginger powder one teaspoon um even a little more since i adding ginger one teaspoon will do yes arabic mix spice one tablespoon full or one and a half extra bit mix spice a bit about one tablespoon right? since it's the sweet one teaspoon sorry one teaspoon will do it. pepper about one teaspoon eh? one teaspoon pepper don't burn the ingredients i turn on the fire flame a bit it's very low flame and add in the blend juice of the garlic and ginger yes. add the tomato in Since you are putting tomato paste, this true to three tomato will do. It's good. I'm adding in rosemary, two stalks, and four bay leaves. And mix it well. And slowly add in the lamb shank into the pressure cooker. Salt. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour in the juice a bit of the lamb shank, marinated juice, so that the spices won't get overburned. Yeah, and mix it well. I can cook for, put in a pot and cook it for two hours but it, it takes too long and i got to go out so these are the pieces that i'm putting in shank pieces and uh, two piece there's a third one and the fourth big lamp shank i'm going to pour in the juice marinated juice into the pot and let it cook with tomato paste yes i'm going to throw in the tomato paste i'm going to add in the tomato paste inside In between, must double check the cooker because I'm putting it in a very slow flame and adding the potato with butter. Yes. This is our real Christmas dinner with rice. With basmati rice, it's very good taste. You can add in some mushroom seasoning into it. Yeah, not a lot, a bit. Yep. Now I'm going to close the pressure cooker and cook the shank well. Time for cooking. Oops, I forgot to put the salt into the gravy. One teaspoon. And a half teaspoon. If it's not enough, you can add in again later. Yes. You can keep mixing and mixing huh? because it's too big. And I don't like to cut the flesh out from the bone. 
Very good bite, sir. Yes, done. Cook for at least half an hour. Double check again. Now I'm going to turn on the pressure cooker, uh, open the cover of the pressure cooker and double check the shank. Mm. I can imagine how beautiful it is. Alright, this is the shank. Need to cook a little while more. Cook again. Just imagine, in pressure cake cooker, it takes a bit long. So what about cooking the pot straight away? It takes even longer hours. I'm trying the potatoes and the chilies. Uh, yeah, green chili, sweet chilies. Yeah, this is the potato and the chili I put in. Maybe I'll take out the three chili out later for garnishing. Throw on top. Yeah. And the rest let it cook. The pressure cooker is a bit small for the shank, but still can manage. Yeah. Cook well, uh, please. Throw in the saffron water a bit together with the saffron. Yeah, let it cook well. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to. Open the pressure cooker, put off the flame and open the pressure cooker. All right, I got rid of the pressure. I'm going to put into a pan. I've already put on the flame with sliced onions, rings around, and putting in the butter a bit, let it get melt together. Now the onion is, I uh, have the onion in, with butter in, into the pan and I'm going to put in the shank one by one, yes. It's hard to grab the shank. Okay. One, two, three, four shanks huh? over here right now. Four shanks. I just adding a bit of gravy into it. Yeah. And serve it hot with hot rice. All right. I'm going to stop the flame. Right now, I'm putting off the flame and serve it into the tray. Yeah. This is the Persian style of preparing lamb shank. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.